So here I am strolling in Jaffa, which is uh, kind of the old city of Tel Aviv in Israel. So we're gonna do some shoots here from the beach, from uh, really cool places. So stay tuned. This is gonna be a really, really, really cool video. So here I am uh, moving along. Uh, right near the beautiful, beautiful beach, if you can uh, see it. And um, what I want to talk about today is a multitude of things, actually. Uh, I want to kind of go a bit deeper into the whole spirituality thing, uh, while also talking about the funnels and just business concepts in general. So let's get right to it. So some of the cooler epiphanies that I reached in the last year or so uh, were kind of a combination of spirituality and business because my journey has always been about uh, first of all the business and kind of self-fulfillment and actually the spirituality side came from uh, the struggles that I had to go through, you know, the shit, the, the pain, <laughs> the suffering, you know, the loss that happened. And I, I learned a lot about myself and about what really makes me feel good in life. I mean, long term, not just what gives me a high that later turns into a crash or, you know, some depression thing. So where I found this uh, really cool combination was actually in combining uh, peace, inner peace, with outer success. Now what this means is you want to focus on building your life around peace and a feeling of being present in the moment, which again is peace. Um, while having outer success in business, for example, or whatever it is that you want to be successful at. But how do you build that? How do you actually create the foundation where you don't chase after things? You don't, you know, try to like find completion and, you know, this will make me happy finally and or escape from something. How can you just be and just be present and enjoy the moment as much as possible while working towards a goal so the answer is you can do both at the same time uh, if you're properly aligned but here's the problem when you're not properly aligned to peace and present moment what's gonna happen is you're gonna have ver various behaviors that are either obsessive or uh, not enough fo not focused enough for example, uh, lethargic, like, oh, I don't want to do it, you know, I just, I just don't feel like it, you know, this, um, I don't know if I want to do it anymore, blah, 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 blah. That's kind of like the lethargic, the, the bad side of it. And there's also the extreme side where it's like, I must do it too much. Like, I need to work like 20 hours today. I don't need sleep. You know, I'll do the best out of everyone. I don't care. You know, I'll destroy myself. I don't care what happens. Where it's the negative side. So when you're present to the moment, what happens is, you and sorry I'm a bit um, sick <laughs> so uh, that's why I sound a bit uh, snuffy in the nose so when you go present you know when you just like feel your body this is what's going on stop thinking what happens is these behaviors cannot exist you cannot be in in a situation of doing too much where it's unhealthy and you cannot be in a situation of not doing enough where it's also unhealthy because of it and when people see that, they feel like, oh shit, you know, this isn't good enough because they look for that high, they look for that, that like crazy obsessive state where when they don't realize that what's going to create the success is actually just the daily activity. It's just doing it every day and just working on it uh, and being patient and focused enough to, to persist and to get better and better and better. Uh, where people fail usually is they either go too hard burn themselves out and then quit or in my case go a level above that and even take like massive risks like t tens of thousands of dollars even before you have it 
uh, to ensure, force yourself to do it, which again leads to burnout, although it does lead to success, but it's not sustainable, so you're gonna lose it anyway. Or uh, some people are just, you know, they're too lethargic because they're like, oh, I don't wanna do it, I'm not good enough, blah, 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 which again only comes from not being present in the moment, and, uh, and that's why they don't do it either. So being present to the moment will solve that because it will like you it will like make you let go of all the shit that's holding you back right now but again it will feel too clean like you want that dirty high it's like being you know on eating everything and then suddenly going to like a completely vegan diet or or a completely you know no sugar diet like you'll go crazy cuz you're so used to the highs and the lows that suddenly it feels like it's boring like nothing's happening when actually you are making progress every single day so first of all you go present you know focus on peace because if the foundation is not peace whatever success you've built you're still poor there's no it's not sustainable you're either gonna be unhappy while you have it or you're gonna lose it now you go into peace you go into present by deciding to go into present <laughs> now you don't actually make the decision but the decision happens through you if you actually want peace so the moment you want peace more than anything else the moment that's more important to you than whatever story your mind is making up right now about your how your girlfriend ditched you or how you don't have what you want yet or how your parents are evil or how society has fucked you up when you let go of the stories because you care more about being at peace and not overly thinking it and being aligned with the story then at that point again you go back to your natural state and then the true things that you want to do come out so maybe you'll spend the day and you won't want to work at all but you just won't feel any desire or any need to work so it won't come out of laziness you actually won't want to work but maybe on that day you actually need to recharge and then the next day then you go like all out or maybe you don't you see but you can't force it and when you're not present you're forcing it. you're either forcing too much or not enough and whatever it is it's not sustainable if you also want happiness if you are watching this video it's probably important for you to have happiness and peace so you need to learn how to become more present now when you actually do that then you'll have you'll be able to start taking daily actions from a very calm place where it's not obsessive it's not like uh, you know too much is not not enough it's just the right amount and then you'll be able to learn gradually and when you do get that first sale you won't go crazy and go like oh my god I got the first sale no when this next one no, no, no. no you just be able to kind of be happy about it and move forward or when you uh, lose something maybe you don't get that first sale you'll also be able to completely be present just keep going because you won't have these thoughts that say oh this isn't working I'm I knew I'm terrible blah 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 whatever story you have in your fucking head so being present, working on your business while being present. Just be at what you're doing, trust your intuition, let it arise and let life guide you and see what happens. Now you don't trust me, you're saying like, okay, I don't think this is gonna work. Try it, try it for like a month and see what happens. You're gonna live here for quite a while. You can try it for a month and see what happens when you just do peace without the extra effort or thought or stories. And uh, what you'll see is again, at first you'll feel like a small dip in your results because again you're getting off the hook of uh, validation and off the hook of uh, kind of that you know feeling of oh my god I have to do this and this and my story and blah blah but what you'll see is again when you do it from a deep place you get more done in less time and your foundation whatever reality you're going to create is going to be based on peace because when you spend time taking certain actions like let's say building up a relationship with uh, someone or uh, finding a mate or building a business whatever emotions you bring into that are probably going to be the predominant emotions in the business so if you bring in mostly stress your business is mostly going to stress you it's not like okay now it's gonna stress me and then later when it gets good then I'm not gonna be stressed no if you feel stressed even thinking about your business about wanting to have a business like oh my god I don't have a business what do I do blah, blah, blah. then even if you do find an idea it will be a very stressful idea for a business because again whatever emotion you have will massively affect whatever you create at that moment so the best emotion you want to have it's not even an emotion is just a state of mind of peace that comes from being present because that means that when you create a business out of peace you're creating more peace for yourself 
more joy, more happiness. When you create a relationship out of peace, you create more peace for yourself. So whatever you do, first of all, stay present. Again, stillness within, peace. And then outer success comes second and it will come. But even if it won't, you won't mind, okay? So don't worry about it, okay? So go into stillness, be peaceful. And if you have any questions, let me know and subscribe. See you soon.